is just rubbing the salt in the wounds. You know what, uh, Joe Henry brought up a lot of the uh, interesting points in that video as well. Such as? How does Hacker hack from a keyboard and not plug in? You and I both know that that, that keyboard is not what he uses to hack with. I don't know that. I'm not good with computers. Right? I know you're not. You couldn't tell me the difference between an Instagram and a, a Polaroid picture. There's a difference? Case in point. This match now officially underway is Joe Henry. He's not going one-on-one -on -one with Scotty O'Shea. He's put the mask back on O'Shea. I happen to think he looks a little bit better. Well, Joe Henry trying to teach Hacker the, the art of being a hacker. Don't tell people who you are. Cover here from Henry and a kick out from Scotty O'Shea. Well, I think that's, yeah, rule one of packing. And again, placing the mask back over the face of O'Shea. He goes now to work on the arm. You gotta wonder if it's harder to see with that mask on. I mean, obviously, O'Shea doesn't, he's not used to wrestling. Is it harder to see with the mask on versus your own eyeballs? Of course, Brad. I don't know, I don't wear masks. I'm not into that. <laughs> You might want to consider it. Cover here and a kick out from O'Shea. Henry now the side headlock applied to the hacker. I just wear him down here, Brad. Well, Scott, Joe Henry, Joe Henry is a very accomplished amateur wrestler. He won the British Championship, Scott. He, he's no slouch in the ring. I mean, he likes to have a good time, as we saw with his entrance. But at the end of the day, when push comes to shove, he can wrestle circles around you. Oh, well, Brad, he was proficient in, uh, in amateur wrestling, as you said. And Judo, I mean, the, he, you're right, how he is no slow. How many other people can say that they wrestled Kurt Angle? Not many. There's a nice escape there from Henry, and it looks like it's just angered Scotty O'Shea here. Oh, oh, and he just ate a boot right to the chin, but there's Blackwood on the outside. Come on now. Well, Kevin Blackwood getting himself involved, and that's enough to turn the tides. Scoop slam into the ropes. Now O'Shea looking for a cover. Kick out there from Henry and Brad, you're absolutely right that Packer somehow found a way to turn the tide of this matchup. All it took was that slight distraction there, cover again, and a kick out. What do you mean somehow found a way? Kevin Blackwood interfered. Well, that's it. The distraction from Blackwood there was all that O'Shea needed to turn the tide of this match. Those are the exact words I said. I said, I said I'm better. O'Shea now into the corner. Trying to neutralize Joe Hendry. I guess he's already reset his Facebook password. Joe Hendry's got a bit of bad news. Good thing he didn't do that to you, you wouldn't know how to fix it. That's right. Matthew O'Shea now mocking the crowd here in attendance at the Phoenix Concert Theater. Oh, come just, on. Rubbing his spit into the hair of Joe Henry. Snap there, take that into a cover here from O'Shea. And another kick out there from Joe Henry. Gonna take a lot more than a snap there to put Joe Henry away. Sometimes you get lucky. Right. I don't think I've seen a snap there with a match of O'Shea, now you see just crying away the face of Joe Henry. He's trying to add insult to injury here. Oh. Nice European uppercut there from Hendry. And he follows up with another. Punches in bunches from the prestigious one. European uppercuts aren't really punches, Scott. You get them the forearm. Oh, and a knee right to the gut of Hendry. Hacker in the cover. Two and kick out there from Hendry. That knee to the gut's going to knock all the wind right out of your system. How long was your lunch? Again, crying away in the face of Joe Henry, and I'm mocking the official. Oh, now just driving the face of Henry into the mat. Another cover, cover here from O'Shea, and another kick out from Henry. Henry looks hurt. Well, he's, his face just got revved off the canvas. Right, you might be right. He might be not gloomy for that. And Scotty O'Shea, this is this is a match that you know three four years ago when Scotty O'Shea was not this lunatic that we know now. This is a match that would have been really really fun. You know, Scotty O'Shea used to have the same type of personality when it comes to wrestling as Joe Hendry does. Hang on, here comes Hendry. O'Shea will sidestep him though. 
But now it's just he. He's out for something. We don't know what. He's got Kevin Blackwood under some sort of spell. Whatever he's telling him, whatever propaganda he's spewing. Scotty knows this. Well, I don't know if it's a spell. He's not a warlock, but... Ah, that nice clothesline there from Joe Henry to take the head off of O'Shea. O'Shea landed right on the top of his head. But you're, you're right. O'Shea is clearly in the head of Kevin Blackwood. And, and whatever Scotty O'Shea is selling, Blackwood is fine. Henry starting to... Got a second win here, Scott. Trying to feed off the energy of the fans in attendance here. Nice back elbow there from Henry. Falls it up with another. Oh. Straight right hand and a neck breaker there from the prestigious one. Henry feeling it now, Brad. Joe Henry staying on top of Scotty O'Shea. Nice switch there from O'Shea. But he is just back and forth action now here, Brad. DDT! This could do it. It's the leg cover and another kick out from O'Shea. Back and forth action from the opening bell here, Brad. Hendry, maybe taking a little too much time here, Scott. The crowd getting behind him, but you can't let Scotty O'Shea recover the way he's Joe Henry's letting him recover. Well, Brad, I don't know if it's necessarily Joe Henry allowing O'Shea to recover, so much he's trying to recover himself from the of this matchup. Looks for the follow away slam, nobody home. Reverse waist lock there from O'Shea, and Henry fights him off into the corner. And again with the European uppercuts. Another switch there from O'Shea, and he oh. takes the legs out from underneath Henry. A unique O'Shea. offense there by, by O'Shea as he goes to the top rope. Okay, now perch. Top turn buckle missing with the double stomps though. Is Henry able to get out of the way? Now oh, Henry! Henry looking for the ankle lock here. Great pick of the ankle there. Now you're right, Brian. He's got that ankle lock locked in as he's dragging O'Shea to the center of the ring. This could be it here. And Scott, not only has he wrestled Kurt Angle, but Kurt Angle really taught him how to master this hold. Now look at the angle of the the ankle of O'Shea's at. And O'Shea somehow able to have the wherewithal to. Roll through as he gets ahead of steam. Hang on, fall away, slam by Joe Hendry. Catches him and just launches O'Shea. And now Blackwood. Trying to save O'Shea as he drags him out of the way as Hendry was looking to make the cover. And Joe Hendry could have had this thing won, but was wasn't able to get the cover as Blackwood pulls him out. And he looks absolutely exhausted, both of these men do, and Blackwood involving himself in a match that is, well, was a perfectly good match here without the involvement of Blackwood. Oh! Hanging up Henry on the second rope there. O'Shea now, springboard cutter, connecting. It's just enough to put Joe Henry away. No, not yet. Henry able to kick out and O'Shea starting to get a little frustrated here. Trying to fight his way back into this matchup. Capacity crowd here at the Phoenix in Toronto. Okay, again now on the second oh, hole. What was that? He, he picked the ankle. The Henry followed through with O'Shea and got a hold of the ankle. And now that ankle lock is once again locked in. And this time O'Shea is dead center of the ring. Brilliantly scouted by, by Joe Hendry. Whoa! Oh, he rolled through with O'Shea. Look at the toy. Here's the ankle now, Brad. The whole knee. Yeah, he's got a knee bar leg. locked in as well. And Blackwood pushing the ropes towards O'Shea. And O'Shea's able to get to the ropes, breaking the hold. But has the damage been done that leg? O'Shea hasn't been able to test it here, Scott. But as soon as he gets to a vertical base, we'll find out. You can see O'Shea writhing in pain here, Brad. And again, the torque of that ankle and that knee. He's gonna rip some ligaments apart here. Now on a sack. Blackwood has given O'Shea a chair. And okay. Luckily for Henry, he missed with it. Now Henry's got the chair. And a referee getting involved, taking the chair. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Getting involved, the referee was doing his job. Now O'Shea goes over the control off the lead after the low blow, and he connects with it. Joe Henry is O'Shea out. O'Shea into the cover. And that's it. Well, 
out. He needed a low blow to do it, Brad, but Packer picked up the victory there and hang on here. They might not be done. What's he doing? You've already beat him, Scotty. Okay, holding down the head of the prestigious one as Blackwood's got that chair. And there was a shot right to the back. And O'Shea barking orders saying, one more. Come on, enough is enough. The match is over. And now O'Shea is picking up the limp body of Hendrick. And again, he's holding the head of Hendrick. Oh, oh what a shot. Right to the side of the head. Absolutely disgusting actions from kill screen. Someone's got to put an end to this. Now you see Blackwood mimicking the mark of kill screen on the chest of Joe Henry. And just like that, O'Shea barking some orders to, to Blackwood who retreats to the back. Well, you can see Brad O'Shea is limping away from this battle. 